All right, and we're back with the second one. Here, I'm gonna load the game up, and this is where we left off last time. We had just finished the Death Heads Biker Gang mission, and now we're gonna do the Insiders. The Insiders are us in a prison. We go in as a lawyer and take down their communication. Now, despite being a lawyer, our first combat will take place in a cell. Let me check to make sure the recording's working all right. My voice is being captured. Everything's working fine. So, as you can see, there's some layout changes here. And there's some new units. We've got prisoners, ranks and file of the Insider Gang. They deal 10 damage and they gain... Uh, no, they, do they? They do not. These people do not gain damage per, attack, per turn. Some of them do. The Shiv Guy will ignore block. Much like we can do with this. Let's front kick him. And instead of gaining the one combo boost, we're going to instead back away. He's not going to get shivved. And now we move on to the next turn. We've got Scratch. Scratch has just been proven to become, like, extremely good. Flip here. Shove you there. Scratch you. These people do gain one attack per turn. That guy's now at 1 HP. Yep, they gain one attack per turn. We gotta complete the level within four seconds. Four things here. If you snap strike you, we'll jab you, we combo finish you, then we shift here. And he's gonna bleed out. Now the next guy falls. Oh, it was not Scratch, it was Slash that was good. But Scratch, Slash was also extremely good, too. So what we do now is that. And then I go here. You had two turns to do uh, some damage. So we're going to free movement back one. And then just throwing star, and he's dead. We get a new card. Improvisation is a really funny card, but I think I went big block. I don't want to do an informant fight, so I'm going to do a fight fight. Informants are like uh, something else I haven't shown you guys yet, which are called protect fights, where you got to protect a British ambassador. But this person will attack you instead. I don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to go to here. This prison block. Start with a quick strike. Then a... Boom, just like that, we've done a little bit of damage. Let's take a look at our cards here. Bleed, I'm starting to think, is a really good addition. I don't know how much is going to be changed. If at all, because this is an early access game. I'm not sure if this will be changed in the future. Person's blood to death. And we got people with guns again.
hit you with stun dart, and then jumping stab you. He blocked all of it, but he still took two damage. Now we three punch combo him, and slip here. Does do eight bleed, okay. This big block here. That guy does push damage. He's a bit scary, but not too scary if you just have the right tools. I did not need to do that, but I also didn't want to deal with it. Gonna bleed to death. And we're getting good. Flash. He's dead. And now you. take damage. I thought I, I was one off from lethal and I didn't realize it. Upsetting. So if I shift right here now, it's going to be the most pathetic death. He... Oh, I didn't express what I said well enough, but I got him. So push enemy back, knock down, and apply 12 damage. Gain one extra combo, and it's an attack. I want tackle here. Prison walkway. These fights will get longer and take more damage and I'll make more mistakes and eventually I'll screw up. It's just the way it works. Now the fun thing here is I can do this and just shove him out. Did I kill him? No, I did not. He was knocked down. This guy auto attacks. It's a bit scary. We're gonna counter stab and then snap strike to get rid of his uh, his armor. He's gonna attack back. And we're going to counter him back. And we're going to quick block. Because he's going to die next turn. Because of counter. Countering is also extremely effective. I just don't like doing it. Because it's taking damage. And brain is like no damage bad. You know? So. Yeah, I need to learn how to do damage better of him into the wall. And puncture him. We've got one more enemy. Gift around him. Three punch combo. And we won. Combo finish him. We get plus two maximum combo from collecting the briefcase. And we get money for not taking damage. Combo's looking like it's going to be our main thing here. We're going to do an event. We're going to call the cops because I don't need a random card. And now we're going to upgrade. Three punch combo is really good when upgraded.
but I've noticed a bug. I think it's a bug. I'll explain in a second. Uh, counter stab. All right, counter stab just becomes great. Ten bleeding if the damage is unblocked. So upgrade counter stab, and that's all of our money really. So viewing the deck here, I've noticed that uh, s uh, snap strike. In just increases our damage. Or so it seems. We're now moving on to the prison. The prison itself is a big level. It's a scary level too. It's historically one of where the places where one of my rims will fail. It gets the chef guy most of the time. The chef guy's scary. Really scary. But I can make him a little bit less scary. Just a little bit. And I get attacked three times here for three damage. That was extremely scary. Because I just took a lot of HP. Or sorry, I took six damage three times. But... We've now won. We've beat the chef. And that's the scare. That's the hardest part. finish him. Slip around, ponder, get rid of cow traps, and then tackle him. He's just dead. And that person's now dead. Now we have the scary part here. I have three turns to defeat three people. Uh, how they think I'll be capable of doing this is unknown, but hey, I'll give it a shot. I mean, hey, I've maybe got a chance. be pushed right against another one and that's more damage I don't want to take but not really any damage I have a chance of avoiding just big block I don't really like this mostly because Getting our money here. A bit upsetting, but I kind of think it was a. I don't like this m one level, mostly because of this part of it, where I've now got to like run around a lot just to avoid getting hit. I could have thrown and throwing stardom. Bad play on my part. I can't tackle him and I can't shift to him. I can stun dart him though. This is one of the annoying parts. Scratch. Hidden blade. It really should have been bleeding out from that.
And I'll get an upgraded card. And... Let's read them here. Rising Strength. Just good. Rising Strength is good. Heavy Strike is okay. I'm gonna do a Rising Strength here. I'm gonna do an event. Uh... So what just happened there was one of the worst decisions I've ever made, and this is the end of the run. Unless... So I'm going to take one damage per turn, like a bleed of my own. I'll get max HP if I can do that, but I don't have the time to do that. Nice show shift. Yeah, and that's how quickly runs can end. Yeah. That's really how quickly runs can end. I don't have anything to say here. I'm staring at this and I'm a bit disappointed in myself. I'm contemplating starting another run, but I think it's better if I stop this here and start a new recording. So, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Actually, genuinely. I don't know if anyone's actually going to watch these. I haven't seen if anyone's recorded the last, watched the last one. I'm recording it the same day, several hours apart. So I'll upload this, maybe record another one, upload it tomorrow. Let's see how this goes.